I'm Gaia Vince and I'm a science writer and broadcaster and I mainly cover environmental issues, how our changing environment affects us and how humans are changing our environment. The oceans are so vast, you know, they cover most of the world's surface and throughout human history we've thought of them as being so big that they're virtually untouchable, you know, we can take as many fish as we like, we can throw all our rubbish, all our waste into the oceans and they can take it because they're so big. Well, we're learning now that that's not the case, that this huge, big, energetic beast which drives our climate, which produces our food, which uh, regulates our oxygen levels and that we breathe, you know, the origin of all of us, where we evolution really started, these incredible oceans, well, we've shrunk them essentially. So that now when we eat fish, many of which are endangered, we're eating with them the microplastics that we discarded as our waste. And I think that this change has been so rapid and it's on such a scale, almost an existential scale because of the size of the oceans and, and all these earth systems, that we haven't fully understood that. I mean, you know, already the incredible coral reefs that I snorkeled as a small child, well, they've gone. They're completely and dramatically changed. And we are seeing so many of the fish that, our, that we rely on disappearing. We're seeing changes to um, the ocean's acidification levels. We're seeing pollution at, you know, along our coastlines. We're seeing ice melting much, much more frequently and much earlier in both now the Arctic and the Antarctic. And this change is going to affect us. And it's difficult to grasp, I guess, because the oceans are so vast and so varied. And because we're terrestrial, you know, we live on land. But that doesn't reduce the importance of the oceans, even though we can't see it. It is, you know, it is one of the parts, the systems of the Earth that really maintain the habitability of this planet for humans and for so many other creatures as well. I'm so proud to be an ambassador for the National Oceanography Centre. You know, this is a time of really great crisis for the oceans and, and so for all of us, whether, you know, we're talking about climate change or biodiversity loss. And many of the solutions that are being touted for these crises actually involve the oceans. You know, whether it's vast seaweed farms or deep sea mining or, you know, enormous amounts of carbon sequestration in the oceans. And yet we don't know enough about the oceans to make the call as to you know, how we act in this way. And that's something that the researchers at NOC really are helping with. So, so they are helping us understand our oceans better, but also helping us to make the right decisions about what we do with this really, really important earth system over the coming decades.